Hello everyone, Attack Power here with another top 10, but this one is actually the bottom 10. The 10 quote-unquote worst divisions in Steel Division 2. Now, a massive disclaimer for this video before you all start typing right away. This video was harder to make than the top 10 by a mile. I actually got to like maybe four or five divisions and then like had to really work hard to find five more that I actually thought were bad. Um, the game is, is actually, despite the Men of Steel DLC kind of screwing up the balance a lot um but the 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 men of steel dlc messed up the balance at the top of the game it did not mess up the bottom the bottom half of the game so in terms of the divisions like it did not mess the bottom half of divisions up so like it, the the the, the quote-unquote worst divisions of the game were still the same before and after this this recent dlc but none of the divisions in the game anymore are truly awful to a point that you can't use them um you know you you can win a game with any of these divisions these 10, to me, just make it much harder is all it is. It's not that you can't win with them. It's not that they're bad, but it's just, and I'm talking mostly going straight into quick play. There are, of course, certain situations for each one of these divisions that is probably okay to a good division. So please don't go right in the comments and be like, well, that division is great on slot score cell. Like, I get it, okay? I understand that the division might be good on that singular map. But if I had to hop into quick play with it, I would be fearful of using this division in any quick play match. Because in 9 out of 10 maps, it's going to be terrible. And in most situations, it's just going to be a struggle to make the division work. So it's not that these divisions are bad, okay? Let me be very clear about that. These are not bad divisions. They're just not good divisions. Okay, so that's that my disclaimer. Feel free to comment all you want, but I, I don't need you to literally like roast me over a fire about these choices. Uh, these were actually really quite difficult because I don't think there's a lot of divisions in the game that are actually truly bad. And the ones I do think are truly bad, I'll mention, but even those come with the disclaimer of it's not that you can't win with them. I just think it's really hard to win with them and you're giving yourself a pretty major handicap. But starting here at number 10, and these aren't actually in a particular order. Uh, they're kind of chunked with the ones I struggled to pick and then after that are the ones I actually just like came right to mind. But the first one here, 16th Panzer. So 16th Panther, Panzer is... It's not like it doesn't have good tools. Like your recon tab is really solid, actually. SPW is here. Um, your tank tab is is a nice mix of stuff, honestly. You got Panzer IVs and Tigers and Stug threes. Like you got things there. You have some okay support weapons. You get some great Nebelwerfers in the Arty tab, and you got Focke-Wulf 190s and stuff. And that, that's great. Like these are all good tools. Um, the issue with this division, and an issue with a lot of divisions on this list here, it's just extremely inefficient. It's basically all the most inefficient units in the German faction, you know, outside of the SBWs, essentially. Um, the, the, everything's expensive. Like, you don't have cheap things. Your your CQC is, is basically either a Pioneer or a Sturm Pioneer, and you only get one card of Sturm Pioneers on top of that. Uh, your infantry are all Panzergrens, which is expensive at 30 points these days. Um, your, your tanks, you have no light tanks. It's all medium heavy stuff or super heavy in terms of the Kinnigstagger. Um, you have almost no AT, very, very little to work with. You have very little AA. It's very good AA, but it's very, very limited. Um, you don't have any sort of like heavy bombers or anything. It's all fought. Well, I guess you do have the HE-111 here, but it's a weird bomb load at actually five bombs. But anyway, um, it, it just, and it's, it's just bad on a lot of maps. Yes. On Slits, it's great. You know, on Slits West, it's, it's wonderful, but it, it doesn't. It's just hard. It's hard to play this division well because there's so little room for error because of the cost of all your units and the inefficiency of the division in general. Again, I don't think this division is bad per se, but it is hard to play because of the expensiveness and the inefficiency of the division in general and the, the lack of some of these tabs as well, you know, being almost non-existent here, even in the deck builder. Uh, it just... Yeah, it, it's a tough one. It's a tough one to play and a tough one to use well. In League, it can be very solid because you know what the map is before going in, so you can use it a lot more efficiently. But again, walking into the quick play, mm, mm, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, to say the least. So our next one here, 7th Estonian, a division we barely see get played these days. Um, and again, like it's not a bad division. It just doesn't do anything very good anymore. Um, your recon tab is fine. T70s are good. Snipers, 20-point snipers are not that great anymore because many divisions spend 30 points and get an entire unit, an entire infantry squad with a sniper, where this guy is a two-man unit, two -man unit with a sniper that dies pretty easily. So the fact that everyone else gets just better versions of snipers means these guys really aren't great anymore. The infantry tab is 
essentially standard Soviet units, none of the good ones, like none of the good Soviet infantry, like Strafniki or Sturmoviki rocks or Stra uh, or um, Strelki rock, uh, not Strelki, Sapody rocks or anything like that. And then you have the Mustad Mantelid, which are like, you know, like the the unit of this division, but they're just not that good. Um, they, they just don't do it. Maybe at 15 points, but that would be really strong. But maybe that's what this division needs, honestly, is like a 15-point Mustad, and then you just spam these to infinity and beyond uh it would be an obnoxious aid as like the most obnoxious thing ever but maybe that's the only way you make this division any good the tank tab is just really middly medium tank stuff like some of these units in a sprinkle are really good like a couple churchill fours or a couple you know one card of kv1l supported by other better tanks uh you know a t26 card is always nice but just having all of these kind of oddball tanks in here they just don't add up into anything impressive and you really don't have any serious at you have some su85s one card only of su85s phase lock to a phase otherwise you have no heavy at at all nothing there's nothing here that can kill a big not even big just a normal like heavy ish tank um this whole division just struggles mightily against and that really is hard like, that's not great. You do get some okay planes. You know, your arty is kind of just all the more... In a, I mean, 122s are good, I guess. 152, not like it used to be anymore. It's nothing fancy. 37 mils are, are meh. They always are meh. You don't have any of the good support, um, like really good support Soviet weapons here. So, yeah, it's just a very meh, not that great, hard to get easy wins out of it kind of deck where you're just working hard all the time. There's nothing really unique here. And it's just all the not so great stuff about the Soviets, along with some weaknesses that really hurt it in a very real way. So, yeah, seventh and Stony here, clocking in at number nine. Number eight, another Soviet division here, ninth guard cavalry. Uh, th this is another division that I, I lost to this in a recent tournament, and and it felt awesome, but it really isn't. Um, it, it it has some good tools, it has a good mix of stuff, but the infantry really aren't good. Uh, even with the the buffs they they had a while back, they just don't do well enough. Your your twenty point Gazaki just kind of suck. They're like a hybrid infantry, so they're just not good at anything, is what it ends up being. So you get a lot of those not so great units. Osnaz are fine, but they're essentially a, they're essentially just a bazooka like squad. They're they're a kind of chunky bazooka squad. That's all they really are. Just because they're infinite, the infantry tab doesn't make them any better. Uh, the Kazaki PPS PP Shaw here doesn't really do much. It's actually a weak Avto for all intents and purposes. It does have Raider, but that's all it really is. Um, Kazaki SVT is like the only like truly strong infantry unit here. So the infantry really aren't good in a, in a meta that's infantry based. That's definitely not a good thing. You do have some great recon here. Your tank tab is is pretty solid. I mean, you get MCHA's NT 3476s. That's great in a lot of divisions. The Valentines are a nice bonus. The support tab is nothing impressive. You get OB25s, which is nice, but then it's just kind of nothing else from there. Uh, your AT tab is fine. Uh, the mix, the the most standard mix of Soviet AT that you can get, uh, but limited. You know, you don't have much to work with. The AA tab has the ZIS-12, which is one of the best AA pieces in the game. The RD tab does have a 122, which is good, and the air tab does have the TU-2S. But the, the, the infantry tab being so lacking and none of the other tabs being anything to write home about... Uh, makes this division just really not click or do anything impressive. Again, I don't think this division is bad, but I also think it's 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 not easy to win with it. It it doesn't do you any favors. You got to work really hard to get good trades and you got to know how to play the division very specifically and very well to actually pull out good wins with this one because it, it can just be a struggle. And that's kind of a, that's even like the good Soviet divisions just aren't great these days. I I really don't feel like the Soviets are a strong division these days. Next one here, hopping over to the Axis, though. We have a division I know I'm going to get some black for, but I truly, I, me personally, I hate this division, and I still just don't think it's very good, and that's Unternehmen Russelsprung. Yes, this division is fabulous on the right map. Kostrita, Cell, that's the end of the list. Um, Orsha East, maybe. Maybe. That's a big maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a division with good infantry and phenomenal recon and almost nothing else after that point. Uh, you got some okay support stuff here. You do get LG 42 and the 75 mils. Those are fine. Your AT tab is, is limit. It's very limited. You don't get much to work with here with one card, each of these packs, your AA tab is really bad with the flag being the only thing that matters, but it, 
you know, in a weird spot to where to put it exactly because you need to play this division aggressively. Uh, your AT planes are extremely important, but if they get shot down, you're kind of screwed. Your RD, you do get the 105 here, which is a pretty good RD piece, but outside of that, there's really nothing here at all. And uh, yeah, I mean, your tank tab is almost non-existent. It's, it's again, just one of those divisions. If I was taking it into quick play, I, I am terrified. Um, yes, it has some great infantry, those infantry are expensive though. Like your, your great infantry are Brandenburgers and stuff. And those aren't cheap. Now there's all kinds of other cool infantry in here and stuff. And I'm not hating on the infantry tab. It is a fun infantry division to be sure, but it can be really tough on a lot of maps to pull out wins. Um, it, it just, it is, it is, it does. It's just lacks in, in a whole lot of ways and that you can get bullied pretty hard. Again, those flak verlings go down. You're going to get absolutely smacked by air stuff and all that good things you're already get sh your at gets shot down you have no way to kill a big tank anymore if the opponent has any aa at all to stop the ju 87s um you know and and brandenburgers are very good but there's plenty of infantry in the game that do fight them toe to toe um do actually match up with them pretty well and if the opponent has any sort of light at and things to deal with your armored car spam well all of a sudden the deck is kind of a fish out of water so, yeah, again, I'm not saying it's a bad division. I'm just saying I think this is one of the harder to win with on a lot of map divisions uh, in the game. But, yes, I know that one will definitely get me a little bit of flack. It probably, I should probably just put it at number 10, as in it barely squeaked into the bad, again, air quote, bad category. Uh, our next one here, another Axis division, 4th Alpine. Where are you? All the way down here at the bottom. Uh, yeah, it kind of just suffers the same issues as Unternehmen, for all intents and purposes. Um, your infantry are really good. I mean, this one's kind of different because the infantry are actually really cost efficient, right? There are a lot of them are 20 points and stuff, but they're also not nearly as good. You do have one of the best CQT infantry in the game in the term of the Pianiti here with their flamer grenade combo. That is very strong. There is no question of that. Um, but outside of that, the infantry are extremely lackluster. They are 20 points for an MG42, so that is something to be said for the division. But the uh, recon tab, not nearly as strong. Although you do get some auto cards and stuff, it's not like you don't get anything, but it's definitely not nearly as strong as Unternehmen. Uh, your tank tab is awful. I mean, you do get the P2640, which is a nice little medium tank, but everything else is awful. Uh, the support tab is worse than Unternehmen. The AT tab is about the same maybe a teens no nah, it's basically the same you do get another card of pack 40s but you don't get the card of pack 38 so you actually end up with net less at guns uh your aa tab is probably worse i don't know it, it it's it's also bad I mean, honestly 20 mil if 20 mils are your main aa it's bad it's it's not a good thing your arty tab does get the italian arty guns which are really good uh, but they're not like phenomenally really good, but they're just really cost efficient good. Uh, your air tab is very similar to Nunatanemon where you're kind of leaning very hard on your AT planes to do all the work for you. So yeah, and again, I just would be very afraid to take this division into quick play because unless I'm ending up on Kostritza or Cell or maybe Orsha East, you know, no, not really Orsha North because you can't fight in the middle. Um, this division is very scary. And again, with the number of other really good infantry divisions now, with the Men of Steel and stuff, even the strong infantry aren't that strong anymore. That's the thing. They're just not that strong at the end of the day. So 4th Alpine slotting in there at number 5? 4? 6? 5? 5. Yeah, number no, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. Did I make more than that? Did I miscount? No, that's 5. Six. That was number six. Okay, we figured it out. <laughs> number six. Now, number five. These are the ones that hop right to my head. I'll be honest. These, these these top five here are the ones that immediately jumped to my mind when I said divisions that really are not that good. Um, again, all playable. All have a place, but yeah, these these are a struggle boat. Number five here, Panzerverbund, Strachwitz. Um, this is a cool division. I mean, I always see it and I always think to myself, wow, this division looks pretty fun. Uh, and then I try and I'm like, wow, this division is kind of miserable. Uh, oops, for some reason my recon tab just like un, like unloaded itself here. Uh, I'm just going to throw some troops in here just so it looks nice and full. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, really lacking infantry. Like 
all, one of the most division uh, infantry hungry divisions in the game. You don't even have any more cards. Like you have another slot, and all you have left are leaders. So you and it's not that you can't take the leader, but like that's very rough. You and and you're relying on M Pan Panzergrad MG thirty fours, which are just very underwhelming when compared to the Panzergrad MG forty two. Um, you do get Pioneer SVTs, which are just sappity at the end of the day, but that's not like an immense upgrade. <laughs> I mean, basically you're going from, you know, you're going from bolt action rifles to semi-automatic rifles, which is definitely an upgrade, but not anything groundbreaking by any stretch. Your tank tab is cool. It's a neat mix of tanks. It absolutely is. But Panzer 3s just, they just, I want them to be better than they are. And they, every time I use them, I'm like, oh, these are going to be so great. They're only 30 points. Double machine gun. They got, you know, semi okay armor for 30 points. But the gun is really quite bad. And, you know, the HE doesn't, it does very little damage. So the tank ends up being very meh. Uh, you do get Panzer II Lukes, which is nice. Uh, so you get lots of those, which is cool. P Panzer T3045, and, uh, you know, it's a card of Tigers here. You know, again, you get a cool mix of tanks, but it just doesn't really work. Your AT tab, not great. You just get some Stugs and stuff. Your A tab is fine. Uh, definitely has some good units here. Panzer Buffer is nice, but it's nothing crazy. The Verframen is, is fun too, but again, nothing crazy here. Um, again, there's a lot of tools that look good on paper when you play the division. It's just a struggle. It really is. Your infantry suck, and this is an infantry meta. So when your infantry are that lackluster, having good stuff around it doesn't always make up for it. Like the SDK Z251 is phenomenal. Love this thing. It's, it's, all, it's absolutely great, um, but it just doesn't solve the other problems with the division that it just is lacking, and you can't vet very much. So your, your bad infantry are even worse then because you have very few infantry. I could vet some of these, but I ended up at like 50 infantry and your infantry don't do that well to start, but it's just not, it's not a very good division these days. Uh, it's tough to use and it's tough to win and it's not the most enjoyable experience, at least in my opinion. And again, it's unique, but it's not like crazy unique. It's not like units you don't see in any other division except the Panzer III, essentially. Uh, the, you know, the short barrel Panzer III. Everything else is pretty like, okay, you see those around. Slotting in at number four here. We have a Soviet division in the 19th tank corps. So this one suffers very similarly to Panzerbund with a horrible infantry tab. Absolutely horrible. Uh, it's just so limited. I have nothing vetted here and I still only have 55 infantry. Like that's, that's so rough. Um, it's, it's just, that's so bad on its own. Having lots of Rizuka is fun. It, it's nice, but it's, it doesn't help the problem that much your tank tab is good but it's it, it is very expensive like you don't have any medium tanks at all you have no t3476 is whatsoever except this ot34 in the support tab that's not good like having only t3485s and stuff to work with is is not a good thing because you just have no flexibility and when you come up against any sort of like stug or panzer 4 or something that can easily it, it basically easily up trades to the t3045 like your your t3045 dies and the, you know, trade straight with the Stug, it was an 80-point tank killing a 95-point tank or a 110-point tank. That's not good. Like, that's that's very bad. That's a, that's a losing combo right there. So it just doesn't, it's not that great. You do get some okay support stuff. Your AT tab is not good. Your AA tab is fine. It's not amazing. But Soviet AA is not amazing in general. Um, your RD tab does have some big guns, but these big, these big guns don't feel great. Um, I don't know why, honestly, the 203 is just, it's too, almost too big. Uh, it's easy to kill because it's like a tracked thing. So it seems to die a lot faster. Um, you know, not great. The air tab is, it's pretty good. I mean, you get the Yak three, which is actually a semi okay fighter for, for, for the Russians, truth be told. Um, you know, the Mitchells are nice bombers for sure, but the, the this, this lack of infantry again, as, as I talked about, it's an infantry meta. So the divisions that are severely lacking in infantry severely lack in doing well. They, they just It's hard to do well when you have nothing of the main thing that, that currently powers the game, which is infantry. So 19 tank, a division that is very unpleasant. And especially, I mean, there's like two, two to three maps, basically the slit maps for that division. Anything else is, is absolute struggle. It's just a painful struggle. Slotting in here at number three, an oldie but a goodie that sits in the worst divisions category really can't seem to go anywhere and that's Korok 559 here um there's cool things about this division like there always has been like tons of really unique light tanks and stuff a whole lot of light tanks bam um some cool infantry you get some really super unique 
armor cards and stuff, but I mean, it's, it's not very good. <laughs> like it, it, it isn't, the tank tab is bad at the end of the day. You only get two T-34s to work with. Uh, well, I guess six here with the other one over here. Um, you have basically no other medium tanks. You have a single weird, uh, incorrectly numbered vet. Like you get more than normal tiger two, uh, tiger T here. Uh, the infantry aren't actually good. They're unique, but they're not good. Uh, ever since they nerfed whatever it is, the Shupo, uh, used to be 15 points and you could spam like 4 billion of them and it was a horrible experience. So they nerfed them to 20 points and the division has never recovered from that nerf ever. Um, it's been, and before that, actually this, this division was super duper, believe it or not, this division was the terror of the game for a while when JU 87s were absolutely broken and nuts. Uh, you could just JU 87 spam everything everywhere. It was kind of crazy. Uh, it was very early in the game when this division was really, really good, which is funny to say these days because it's been so many years since this division was even on the map of goodness. Um, but yeah, it just, it's just not very good. There's just not much here that like really does well. Everything's a struggle. It's got some okay units, but none of it puts together to be strong and nothing really performs above the curve at all. Uh, your cheap units are bad. <laughs> so it is what it is. You know, Korok just kind of lives down here in the bottom three. Our next one, the brother of Korok, so like so honorary sibling, 52nd Sick Rings. I would actually say Sick Rings is a little better than Korok. If I had to pick one, I would take this one over Korok. Um, but this one kind of has the opposite issue where Korok is full of like weird, crappy little light tanks. This one has no armor at all, basically, until B phase. And in B phase, it's a single card of Recon Panthers. And then in C phase, it's all Panthers and a Yag Panther 4 that's really rough. <laughs> that's really rough to have to work with. You're throwing extremely expensive tanks into tight places where things like Stugs and Panzer IVs and T-3045s can very, very easily trade up and kill those things. And, and that's bad. Like, that's not a good thing. Your infantry, you do have some very good infantry, but they're very phase-locked and very in weird spots. Um, although the infantry here are actually, I think, a lot better than Korok. Uh, your support tab is not anything phenomenal. You do get some Feld Jaegers, which is nice, but nothing great after that. The AT tab, pretty solid. I mean, you get a nice mix of stuff. The AT tab is lacking, uh, but you do have some good units here, uh, but overall lacking, right? The uh, RD tab, fine. The Air tab, pretty good, yeah. Again, there's some good things about this, but the severe phase locking and the armor problems and stuff really can make this division hard to play and hard to play well. A lot of times you're just boxed out of the game by the end of B phase and there's no way to get back into it. So it's just a, a division that really suffers from the phase locking and stuff. It shows you how powerful phase locking can be. It's, and sometimes it doesn't feel all that big of a deal. It's like Eugen's like, oh, this division sucks because it's phase locked. And you're like, really though? Because the units are still phenomenal. But this is an example of why phase locking can be so effective because it can just absolutely just kneecap an entire division to a point where it can't be any good. If the, if you could bring in Panthers in any phase, would this division be good? I don't know if it would suddenly be really good, but it would definitely be a lot more viable. It could easily hop up to C or even a really low B phase, uh, B tier, I think, if you could bring the Yag Panzer Force and the Panthers in any, any phase. Yes, I think this division would have a whole lot more legs and could definitely do a lot more than it currently can. So 50 seconds ticket doing and taking the top spot or the worst spot in the game. And I, I'm, I feel pretty confident about this choice. This is, this is one I don't feel bad doing NOV sitting at the worst division in the game currently. Yeah. This division, this division is bad. Um, this is one of the only divisions left that I kind of look at. I'm just like, this is bad. And yeah, I've lost to this division. I'm not saying again, I'm not saying it's unplayable. I've lost to it. I've been run over to, it and it caused me a whole lot of anger, but the fact is, it's still not good. Um, you you have no tanks. You have, you've got no real tanks at all. Your support tab's terrible. Your AT tab is really not good. Um, do you, are you forced to vet this pack forty? I don't even know. Did I vet it? No, I vetted it for some reason. I don't even know why I vetted that. But whatever. I don't care. I played this division like forever. The air to AA tab is awful. You you can get absolutely crushed by Air Force. Your RD tab is not good at all. Like it's just it's just not good. Um, your Air tab is good. It is good, but it's not. I mean, I, I shouldn't even say it's not. It is good. It's got some good things, but it does have a little bit of phase locking that definitely makes it a little harder to be good. Good. Uh, definitely holds it back. Even like this division needs to be held back at all. Um, the infantry tab is good, 
I mean, it's got some very good units hidden here, like the Pianita here, a 15-man Pioneer team for 20 points. I mean, that's awesome. Um, you have the Bombasi with their, like, fast-throwing, half damage TNT. These guys are very good at 20 points. Uh, but then that's it. Then it runs out. The rest of the infantry are very meh. Uh, the Commandeer, I guess, is a very good leader. But the rest of the infantry are very meh to, to not so great. Morshi is just a slightly, very slightly better 20-point infantry than the normal Grenadier. Um, these uh, Proletari are just basically a normal 20-point infantry. Like, nothing special. The Recon tab's nice. It's got some good units in here with, like, a Molotov thrower, I think. Yeah, the Molotov guys here are, are very good. Those guys are great with Ber Berettas. Some snipers and stuff, some auto cars, but, yeah, it just... It's not a good division. It's really bad on almost every map except for basically Cell. And even that sometimes can be a bit of a stretch. Um, this division is not fun to play. In my opinion, it's not fun to play at all. It's just you're, you're so severely lacking in AA. you got no arty to work with, basically. It's bad arty. You have no tanks. Um your support's not good. Like, it's just, there's so many. The whole center of this division is bad. Like, the whole middle part of the division on the page here is just so rough. And the parts on the outside that are good are not good enough to make up for this massive lacking in the center of the division. Um, you know, some divisions do lack here, but have, you know, a lot of the Men of Steel divisions lack in some big part in this middle area, but are so ridiculously strong in the other sections that it doesn't even matter. But this division is not an example of that, and it just comes up really short, and I do think this is the worst division in the game currently. But feel free to drop your comments down below. Try to keep it civil, folks. It, you know, Don't hate on everyone else, and please don't eat me alive. But if you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch, and have a fantastic day.